When your chain of supply goes from here to Shanghai, that's logistics. All new technology UPS brings to me, that's logistics. Let me just say uh, first, uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Kent State and their basketball program, and Coach Senderoff and Gino and Jim Christian and all those guys. I mean, uh, to win the game here means a lot to me because they've been the best program in the MAC for many, many years. So uh, since 1998, nobody can do what they've done really. So you know, we're trying to get there, and we've done a good job over the last eight, and they're kind of the uh, the brand name, but I would be remiss to uh, not talk about like those tragedies. I mean, like I'm happy as hell, but like I just feel so bad for those parents. I, I got a 20 year old daughter and a 17 year old son, and I'm thinking about those people, you know, and then also the Bowling Green students. That just breaks my heart, really. So while I'm excited, I, I'm just sick to my stomach over that, and uh, I just think it's a it's a tragedy, and we we just gotta we gotta work on our on our, on, our, uh, on our system to make sure that that stuff doesn't happen anymore, really. So. Well, I've been pretty mild with this team, really, but basically what I said is, look, you got to play and trust your instincts and don't second-guess yourself and just play, right? And then stick your nose in it, you know? Stick your nose in it and battle. I thought we played well defensively. I thought, you know, we, we got in trouble defensively just because we turned the ball over and just played jittery really i mean and uh then i decided uh i decided i was going to shorten up and play my older kids more just just thought that you know the environment was such that you know our young ones didn't respond great the first half so we just stuck with our older ones that, that we've been through the wars with and those young ones are going to be really good and they did some good things treadwell did some good things in the second half but i just decided to uh I was going to keep it simple, really. And, you know, we got terrific play from our point guard. He was terrific. Uh, probably the best defensive game he's played. Ran the show for us, made some big plays for us. And then our big man, our big man dominated the action in the paint. As simple as that. I mean, without him, we had trouble stopping him. But with him, we could guard him. Well, it's hard. It's hard. I talked to Shaka a little bit because he had a similar situation in the CAA. And so... Uh, I mean, he, he did a pretty good job last year, so I think I'm going to trust what he says a little bit. So we're going to probably take a day off, take another day where we just do a little skill work and shoot, and then try to get back to the grind of it a little. Probably play a little bit, you know, try to keep it simple and hard. And uh, I've never been through it, really. I don't really like it. I'm, I'm a kind of guy that likes to play, really. You know, and we've won it where we've had to play. But I, the thing I like about these three days is we got hit in the mouth, the gut, the back of the head, you know, the nose, the teeth, you know, and we, we, you know, we had to respond. We had to put up or shut up, really. Like, I mean, we got smashed at Ohio U. We were, and then tonight, you know, we played pretty good against Buffalo. I thought Buffalo played really well against us. But tonight, woo, like, I didn't know what I was going to do for a minute. I'm thinking, can we play worse than this? I mean... But we hung in there. When you're only down nine, you got a good chance. Coach, there's a chance that.